in this question we are given the values of a and b and we are to find a square minus b square plus ab let us consider a it is square root of 3 plus 1 upon square root of 3 minus 1 it is a fraction with its denominator irrational and we are to rationalize this fraction we can rationalize this fraction by multiplying its numerator and denominator both by square root of 3 plus 1. So we will get the numerator as square root of 3 plus 1 whole square and denominator is multiplication of two terms. It is square root of 3 minus 1 and square root of 3 plus 1. Now, numerator of this fraction can be simplified using an identity. It is a plus b whole square. a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus twice of ab. Using this identity where a stands for square root of 3 and b stands for 1, we can rewrite the numerator as a square plus b square plus twice of a b it is all about the numerator now denominator can be simplified using an identity a minus b multiplied by a plus b is equal to a square minus b square here a stands for square root of 3 and b stands for 1 so denominator can be written as a square minus b square further we can simplify it as 3 because square of square root of 3 is 3 itself 1 square is 1 then plus twice of square root of 3 the denominator is 3 minus 1 it is 4 plus twice of square root 3 and it is divided by 3 minus 1 which is 2. We see that 4 can be written as 2 multiplied by 2 and second term is 2 times of square root 3. It is 2 multiplied by square root 3, 2 in the denominator. We see that in the both terms of the numerator, 2 is a common number. So we can write 2 as a common number outside the bracket and inside the bracket we will have terms 2 plus square root 3 and it is all divided by 2. So 2 in the numerator can be cancelled by 2 in the denominator. Finally we will get 2 plus square root 3. So value of A is 2 plus square root 3. Now consider the value of b. It is square root 3 minus 1 upon square root 3 plus 1. Once again, we have a fraction with its denominator irrational and we are to rationalize it. We can rationalize this fraction by multiplying its numerator and denominator by root 3 minus 1. And we will get b is equal to square root 3 minus 1 whole square it is in the numerator and it is divided by multiplication of two numbers square root of 3 plus 1 and square root of 3 minus 1 in order to simplify the numerator we can apply an identity it is a minus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square minus twice of a b okay so the numerator is a square plus b square minus twice of a b denominator once again we can apply the same identity we have used earlier it is a plus b in multiplication with a minus b is equal to a square minus b square so using this identity here in the denominator we can write it as square root of 3 square minus 1 square now b is equal to 
3 plus 1 minus twice of square root 3. Denominator is 3 minus 1 and it is 3 plus 1, 4 minus twice of square root 3 divided by 2. 4 is twice of 2, then negative sign minus, then twice of square root 3. It is divided by 2. We can take 2 as a common number and, and it can be written outside the bracket. So it is twice of whole 2 minus square root 3 divided by 2. Here 2 in the numerator can be cancelled by 2 in the denominator. So the value of b is 2 minus square root 3. Thus we have found the value of a and b. Now let us consider a square minus b square plus ab. We can substitute the values of a and b here in this expression a we know that a is 2 plus square root 3 and b is 2 minus square root 3 so it is a square which is 2 plus square root 3 whole square then minus b square it is minus of 2 minus square root 3 whole square then multiplication of a and b it is multiplication of 2 plus square root 3 and 2 minus square root 3. Once again we can apply the identity a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus twice of ab here and a minus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square minus twice of ab at this place and a plus b multiplied by a minus b is equal to a square minus b square for this term. So using these three identities we will get the first part as a square plus b square plus twice of ab the negative sign a square plus b square minus twice of ab then third part is plus a square minus b square we can simplify it as 2 square is 4 square of square root 3 is 3 itself then 2 to the 4 so it is 4 times of square root 3 negative sign 4 3 and minus 4 times of square root 3 then plus it is 4 then square of square root 3 is 3 itself 4 minus 3 the first part is 7 plus 4 times of square root 3 second part is negative of 7 minus 4 times of square root 3 and 4 minus 3 is 1 after expanding the terms we will get minus 7 and negative sign with negative sign is positive sign is 4 times of square root 3 plus 1 here 7 minus 7 the result is 0 and 4 times square root 3 plus 4 times square root 3 it is 8 times of square root 3 then plus 1